Hello ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Lamar Haven. Welcome back to Breath of Fire 3. So we slept in that mysterious bed, rested up, and saved. Let's head to the roof, where we were supposed to meet Ray. We made it to the roof. I wonder if Ray has got away okay. Mm, something over there? Look, over there! On the other roof! That's a pretty big distance. There's smoke coming out of that chimney. That must be where McNeil is. I suppose that makes sense. We haven't seen too many people, so somebody must be there. How are we supposed to get over there? The doors are all locked. Let's look around. There's got to be a way. Alright, so up on this roof, there are two specific items that I have noted that you want to find. So let's look for them, shall we? Let's try... Okay, we're getting into a fight instead. A bat! I do find bats rather challenging at the moment, but they take one hit of all... out of... Eh. They take all of one hit, so I'm not terribly worried. Okay, so as you might have noticed, if you walk on the mossy area, you will find that you cannot, uh, you will end up sliding down. So keep that in mind as we head forward. So I'm going to continue exploring this roof. Oh, and you can jump off of those as well. In an effort to find the items I have listed, you might want to walk to better control your character as you're going up those roofs. So, keep making your way over here, I suppose. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see if I can't make my way over to it. Nope. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump down from above. So, let's get over there nice and carefully. And down we go! It's a grappling hook. You should be able to use it to get to the other roof. Yeah, but can either of us throw that far? Lamar, you know that we can't get over there by ourselves. What's a grappling hook doing up here? That's a very good question. Tipo, Lamar! Ray! There you are! We were worried! Looks like everything went according to plan. How was it inside? Any trouble? You could say that. Well, I would have gone to help you, but I had to find something first. It was pretty scary. There were a lot of ghosts and stuff. But it went pretty okay. For one of your plans, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, I think. Now, we, So now we need to get over there. But before we do, I need you to help me find something. You mean this? Yeah, I could have. I would have put money on that it was Ray's. Hey, that's my rope! That's what I figured. Kind of a funny thing to be left on a roof like that. Don't you worry. With this, we'll be over there in no time. Ray? That was close. I'll just act like I did that on purpose. Yeah, that's it. Really? That that was smooth, Ray. Velvety smooth. Alright, well, I guess we're across. That was real swift, Ray. And here I thought you were letting us do all the hard work. Fighting ghosts and everything by ourselves. While you were just taking it easy on the roof. And having a good time by yourself. Hey, when the going gets tough... I'm there, yeah? And then... Jumping across the roof like that? Be careful you don't hurt yourself working too hard now, Ray. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, Tipo. I didn't know you'd have to finish fight Ghost all by yourself. There, I said I'm sorry, so will you cheer up a little? Yeah, sure. 
I think we can forgive you this time. And once again, Ray is back in our party. In the meantime, we need to find those items I mentioned. It doesn't seem to be there. So let's keep looking like we were before. Aha! Swallow Eye. That's a very important item. I'm going to show you what it is as soon as I remember where it's supposed to be. Alright, Swallow Eye. It raises the user's agility. You want to keep at least one of those. So do not use that item. There's also one more item, and I'm thinking it might be on the other corner? No? It means it's somewhere in between. Come here, little item. I know you're somewhere. Aha! There it is! The broadsword. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that onto either Ray or Tipo. Since Tipo's basically become our spellcaster, I'm gonna equip it to Ray. I have the silver knife, and I think we're still gonna fight a ghost or two along the way. So it's for the best that I keep the knife. Oh boy. So now that we're on this side of the manor, we still have locked doors. But we found a vitamin! Oh, this is like a bathhouse or something. Or just a bath, I suppose. Huh. Doesn't seem to be anything else here, though. That's strange. I guess we just found the secret entrance into the bath. Let's take the ladder back up. And head on over to the other side, I suppose. I know that's the one where the smoke is coming out of, so it, logically we should probably check it. But there are other entrances, so we might as well take them. Another locked door. A woman's scream? Okay, something's going on here. Oh my, what are you doing, Mr. McNeil? Come back here, Vixen! <laughs> okay. No. Oh, brother. Doesn't this just beat all? Who, who are you? Who cares who we are? We're here to take back all the money you've stolen. I don't think it counts as stealing. Eek! I don't have anything to do with this. Leave me out of it. To take back? What do you mean? I just... I just... Oh, come now, Mr. McNeil. You've been cheating the people of the village out of t their money, so you can have your fun, haven't you? Uh, not... I can't think of a way to put this without sounding extremely sexist or horrible, but, uh, I don't think he spent all of his money on her. Oh, dear. This is a bad sign. Enough! You are a disgrace to the McNeils! That's them, Ray. These are the ghosts I killed. The ghosts of the old McNeils. Oof. You may have surprised us before. But that was then. Now you must face us. Not this excuse for a McNeil. Holy cow. What on earth are they doing? Manly combining? Feel the wrath! Okay! So this is Amalgam. If you have 120 hit points, and you can steal a magic shard, so I'm going to attempt to do so. In the meantime, Tipo is going to Samoon, and I'm simply going to attack. Eat the key. Couldn't steal anything yet. Keep trying, Ray. And that was its basic attack. Thankfully, Ray is too fast for it. Simone! How much damage do you do? Cool. So everything is going perfect so far. 
Oops. Tipo is simooing. Simooning. Ha! <laughs> Barely any damage. This should be easy so far. Got the magic shard. Alright, now T uh, I'm sorry, Ray can finally start attacking. Everything's coming up my way so far if the amalgam keeps deciding not to do anything threatening. So I'm gonna have Ray jump just because I think it's hilarious watching your character jump. <laughs> awesome! Frost? Wait, you're actually attacking us with something threatening? Oof. Owie. Well, that's easily healed. And I missed. Still nothing threatening so far. I'm gonna actually have Ray just attack. That uh, jump got a lucky roll on the random damage. Okay, well, that was a little more interesting than your basic attack. Still not a threat. Anyway, uh, the jump attack is so random damage. If you just get a good jump, then stop jumping. There's no point. It'll even out eventually, and it'll be worthless. I only did it mostly out of fun. I didn't think it would actually deal damage. Alright, I think I need to start moving the healing. Because if he uh, hits the same person twice with that attack, and I'm not... Eh, actually... Yeah, he's not going to deal enough damage to kill anybody in one turn at this rate. I'm still- I'm just worried that I'm going slower than he is. So I'll heal myself. Just to be careful. Oh, that's right! I think in this game, healing puts you higher on turn priority. And that's the end of Amalgam. Wow. An inch away from a level, really? Well, it's just you and us, McNeil. What? What's going on? Uh, it was just I never did. Yikes! Take it easy, old man. Those were your ancestors. We're just here to take your money, okay? You're pretty dumb, aren't you? Hurry up and show us where the money is. The money's over there. Please don't kill me, please. All right. This is a little too easy. Hey, Lamar! Come take a look at all this dough! I don't like it. You wimp! What a jerk! Those robbers were a lot more manly than you are. <laughs> Just you wait. We'll see who has the last laugh. You little brats. I'll show you who's real, real power here. It ain't you, buddy. I mean, I... That was a little too easy, I admit. Oh well. Little did the heroes of the Cedar Woods know. I mean, really, McNeil himself is just not a threat. The real trouble wouldn't begin until the next day. Real trouble? Really? From him? That was a lot of fun, wasn't it, Ray? That McNeil looks so silly! There's no one who can beat us! We're the best! I don't know if I'd go that far. But I'd say things went pretty well last night, eh? I can't wait to see the looks on their faces when they see what we've done. Yep, even the people in the village will start treating us with respect now. You bet they will. We haven't stolen anything lately. We got rid of the new. Come on, let's go down the village. I want to hear everyone tell us how grateful they are. Well, may as well. Though there are some things we might want to take care of first, like namely that 5 XP on the way from a level right now. Oh, hey, look! Bunny! Okay, so during that last battle, I learned Rejuvenate and Tipo gain a level. I just wanted to show you the actual skill learnings part of the level up. Because I figured you might want to know I level up at level 10. What I get at level 10? 
Did you hear last night about how last night someone came and left money all over the village? Now who would do a crazy thing like that? No idea. <laughs> Maybe they are really thankful. And at level 9, Ray learned Jolt. It's a uh, lightning offensive magic. So, I guess that since McNeil proved to be such a coward, everything's turning up our way. Hell, we keep stacking up the good deeds like this, they might make us mayors. <laughs> anyway, uh, we want to go visit an old friend before we uh, head in any further. And by old friend, I of course mean Magus. You see, you get rewards if you've leveled up enough while under the tutelage of a master, and I think Tipo has. Welcome back, my students! Tipo, you deserve a reward! Therefore, I give you this! Tipo learned Frost! Is there anyone else who wants to study under me? No, didn't mean to say yes. Farewell! Come back after you've gotten stronger. If you're ready, I'll teach you some of my spells. Alright, so if we go to Tipo's ability list... He now has Frost as a regular attack magic and Frost as a skill. Now, you might be saying, well, he doesn't need Frost. He clearly has it already. This isn't a situation with Flare and Burn, where Burn is just too weak to con consider. Well, here's my counter to it. You'll find out later. Can't tell you. Spoilers. But if you did want to get rid of it now, you could use a skill ink and transfer the skill off of Tipo. That's your call. But you know what? I think we're going to call it there. We're gonna... Uh, we took down McNeil, got the tax money back from him, killed his crazy ancestors who don't ghosts, and everything is hunky-dory PG Kane. Let's go see what the people of McNeil think of us next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then.